Hello everyone, it's Benny, and today I'm making this video to help out people who've run into bugs or issues while following along with my tutorials. Now, as you may know, I have GitHub repositories for every video series I've done since the 3D Game Engine series, and there's a very good reason for that. What GitHub allows you to do that not everyone seems to know about is, yeah, okay, it lets you look at exactly what my version of the source code looks like at the end, so hey, here's what the attenuation class looks like at the end of the tutorial, but that doesn't help you out that much if you're on, say, video 10 or something you've run into an issue. But what GitHub allows you to do that, again, not everyone seems to know about, is it lets you view the code not just at its current position, but at any point during the entire project's history. So if I click on the commits link here and scroll down, you notice I'm starting to see things that are like updated for tutorial 53, or updated for tutorial 51. And I can go all the way back to, I believe I said tutorial 20 for instance, say, oh here, here's updated for tutorial 20. And actually let me go back for a moment. And there's two ways you can do this. One way is, well, as you just saw, open a new tab. If you just click on it directly, what you have here is you have a line-by-line -line breakdown of exactly what was added and removed to the code in that particular tutorial. So, and in this case, I've unfortunately skipped a few. I skipped 18 and 19. So this is the difference between tutorial 17 and tutorial 20. For the most part, I tried to be pretty good about doing one commit per tutorial for this very reason. So as you see, there's line by lines exactly what's added, exactly what's been removed. And there, that, that alone can help you out a lot in finding out what you've done differently that's causing you, well, an error. Alternatively, you can also just click the Browse Code link, and here's the project exactly as it was at that tutorial. So. Here's what render util looked like, for instance. Here's what game looked like, for instance. And this applies to any repository I've made, well, on GitHub since I've started posting code. So yeah, hope this helps out some people who've been having issues. And, well, I'll see you next time. Thank you. See you then.